Captain. 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 Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? I figured I would pause there and stuff for Agnes since I knew you were here uh, with that um, with that sound effect as you usually do. So uh, how's everyone doing today? Great to see everyone. Happy Monday guys. You know what that means? It's one day closer to uh, Friday, which is always super exciting. Um, so awesome to have you guys. And then also big thank you to Ragna for that host as well too. So guys, couple announcements. Um, we have in the merchandise store, we have one, uh, we have one, um, one more item. Well, it's actually like, it's actually a few items and stuff there, but, um, um, it is showing the, uh, display of what we call Beer Man. So we have Beer Man shirts and we have Beer Man, uh, mugs, coffee mugs. So, uh, if you want to go and check those out, those are live now as well, too. Um, also, um... I'm seeing that on the uh, poll that Doom 2016 is winning. So if that happens to win, I know that we used to have our late night party streams on Friday nights and I miss the heck out of them. But what one thing that we're going to do is if we have a party style game, what we're going to do is we are going to call it Michelada Mondays. So instead of drinking some craft beer, um, on stream, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be making some micheladas. I'll probably be having like three, like one an hour, and then we're going to be doing that. So something a little bit light to start off the week as opposed to some like heavier, maybe craft beer and everything there. I mean, we're only going to have a three hour stream, but still, that'll be kind of fun. Get my uh, nutrition and stuff through the uh, vegetable juice as well, too. So, Jezebar! How are you doing there, buddy? Awesome to see, and thank you there, Ragnar, and stuff for uh, putting up the uh, the merch command as well, too. So, super awesome. Thank you so much. So, um, I don't think that there's really any other um, announcements aside from the new merch that's in the store. And then, um, also, I will let you guys know if there is going to be another stream later on this week or any other streams. Um, I am hoping maybe... Wednesday probably isn't going to be a good day because I have a meeting that might run long. So I'm thinking probably if we do have a stream that it could be Thursday and or uh, Saturday maybe. Or maybe Saturday. I don't have, we don't have any plans on Saturday. So if, if we're around and Samuel's taking his nap, that'd probably be a good time to squeeze in a stream there. And then Thursday night, I'm not exactly too sure. These are just thoughts. I have not brought it up to, with the uh, the major just yet. I do know that Wednesday I have a meeting that could run long. So it probably wouldn't be a good day. Uh, just in case I have to run home and stuff and get everything all set. That was kind of like how uh, last week was. I think it was Wednesday. It was a little bit tough to make it back. Um, and then um, I know Friday night isn't going to work um, because we're actually, the wife and I are going to be going with uh, uh, some friends and we're going to be going to a John Williams concert at the Hollywood Bowl. So that should be awesome. We haven't been in quite a few years and I know John Williams is getting up there in age. So uh, I really didn't want to miss out and stuff too. I mean, just an amazing, amazing, amazing person as well too. If you're not familiar with John Williams, which I mean, I think almost everybody in the world is, but he's the one that did the music for Superman and Star Wars and um, Indiana Jones and just tons of the music. So it's always great and stuff. Always a great uh, turnout as well too. Uh, maybe I'll even be able to get some video clips and maybe I could post them onto the YouTube as well. Um, that would be kind of cool. Um, so I know Friday night we're not going to be doing a stream. And then, um, so that would leave Saturday. And then, I mean, possibly Sunday. You never know. But uh, Monday, I'm going to be leaving for my conference. <laughs> there we go. Exactly. There we go. Superman. Powerful than a locomotive. Able to oh, build buildings in a single But um, anyway, there is um, I don't want to announce it just yet, but um, there isn't there isn't gonna be a stream next week. There's gonna be no streams 
Monday through Friday. I think that we're going to be coming back Friday, so there could be a possibility of streams uh, next weekend, Saturday. Not this coming weekend, but the following weekend. So it should be um, should be super uh, fun and everything else like that. So we'll try to um, squeeze in a stream when we can. Thank you, there, Ragna, for doing the uh, game poll <laughs> and that sound effect. Finish Resident Evil Code Veronica, Cap. So I've got a D rank. We'll do better next time. Oh, man. Well, that's awesome. Congrats on completing it. That is one I have not played. So it'll be super cool. But I get to watch you one more time before I move. Wait, only one more time? Nah, don't worry, Jazzabar. There'll be, there'll be a bunch more streams. Don't worry. There we go. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get going with the game? Okay. Alright, perfect. Could be set. Um, yeah, super, super awesome uh, game. We're at a really good part in the game. I did get a chance to um, uh, do a couple, uh, uh, gain some levels, so we should be a bit higher. I think that we should be good. Kind of like what Ragnar said last stream. I think we'll be good until next, um, until we get to the moon, really. So we should be able to fly through quite a bit of the game and come back and watch you again to get all settled in. It'll be uh, fun getting used to the time difference. <laughs> oh man, okay, so what time difference are you at now? And then what do you be uh, when, when you move? Okay. So we should be able to make some great progress today. Hey, Rubicamp. I was waiting for this day. Have I met you before? I'm Evelyn's Prince Edge. Evelyn, what's that? Don't play the fool with me. Oh, Pacific Center time right now. We move into Central. Ah, gotcha. There's a two hours, yeah. Was it flame? I will show you how. Cheese. Blast! You! Indeed, you're strong, but still no match for me. Challenge me after you've become strong enough. Dibs on Edge. Oh, that's right. We got Edge. The only thing is, is, well, I mean, we can't go back and name him, but I think I might wait. Um, we can open that up. We can open that up. Right now. Okay. Let's see, what were we doing? 500? I think. Um, and the name. I mean, we could go back, but I want to be able to make some great progress today, too. All right. Okay. Should be good. Off of 4,000 to name <laughs> Oh man. Wait. Um, okay, so if you win, you want to name him uh, J A S E then, right? Okay, that's good. Yeah, just let me know what names you want him to be, and then maybe I could have Ragnar just kind of jot him down maybe for me. And then we'll know. Just because I'm going to be leaving it open, and who knows? I mean, we may be naming him close to the end of stream too. So. Okay, perfect, perfect. You okay? How could I lose? We're also after Ruby Camp for his crystal. Why don't you stay out of this? He is one of the fiends of elements. Haven't you tasted enough of his power? I think I'm just a spoiled prince, huh? The royal family of Evelyn is trained as ninja. I can take care of this myself, okay? Stop it. No more. I've had enough. Gandalf, Yoda, and even Sydney. We lost them all. All. Hey, come on. Marley.
Rubicant is the strongest of the four fiends, but we still have to recover the crystals. Can't keep this pretty girl crying. Why don't we work together on this? Considering the fact that he's wounded, he sure bluffs. Well, Major? Cure 2! Thanks, girl. You were cute, too. Huh. Right, men? Let's go. Give me a break. <laughs> Ninja Edge Join. See what he has equipped. Okay, so he's... Wow, he's level 25. Man, we need to level him up. Short. I should put the claws. Wow. Twenty one. Short seems better. Oh yeah. Okay. We might just hang on to just that stuff. Bandana is better than the leather. Black belt, I'm sure, is gonna be better. Over. Let's see. We might want to keep his defense right now, though. Okay, we'll just leave him there. We really... I, I really must have overlooked some of our guys here a bit. It's probably one of the first uh, characters that we picked up, and they're, like, under level from where we were at. How are we gonna get in? Watch. Here we go! I mean, we could always use Titan, but I'd almost much rather just attack them. The numbered spell names to Kaga and other nonsense. Yeah, I, I, I know. It does kind of make it a lot easier. Yeah. It does. Just pulled a Chris Angel. I don't know who that is. It sinks in. Fortifier! How are you doing there, Fortifier? Oh my gosh, are you still on your trip or are you back? When are we gonna have the Fortifier streams come back? If I could get a uh, shout out there for Fortifier, please. Really awesome, amazing streamer. He's uh, busy with work right now, not in town, I think, so. Oh, back today! Nice! Awesome there, Fortifier. Awesome. Well, it's going to be great to have you back. We missed the heck out of you. Bud Padgett's back now, too. So, his uh, world-famous magician. Oh, okay. Gotcha there, Jasmar. Nice. And thank you there, uh, Ragna, for the doing the shout-out. Got to uh, see him live in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. I missed my chair. <laughs> oh, man. Great to have you back. I was down to watch Final Fantasy IV and glad you're, uh... Oh, nice! Dr. Kozak! How are you doing? Great to see ya. Great to see ya. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, oh man. I love this, um, uh, Final Fantasy IV. I always name it Final Fantasy II because I'm, like, one of the originals. Where, I mean, this was the first Final Fantasy I ever played. So, and I'm actually playing it off of the, uh, Final Fantasy II cartridge. So. Why is it so red? I don't. I, I I made it red. I don't know. I wanted to go different than just a regular blue. <laughs> we could always change it to a different color. I've just had it mainly on that. <laughs> just because I know it's usually the uh, the regular uh, kind of blue color. But uh, great to have you back. No, you could change it. I'm missing out. <laughs> Yeah, it's in it's in the settings. It's one of the things you could do. I mean, it, it's it's just kind of the um, the red green um, yellow color thing or whatever like that and stuff where you could uh, change it. And so you just put in whatever kind of uh, colors you want, and mix them together. 
I don't know. I like it a little bit different than just a regular blue. And it makes it stand out a little bit, I guess. Learn something new every day. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Ah, that wasn't bad. Back and get uh, pizza started. Nice, Jazzify! Nice! When you come back, I got to. Uh, we need to find out what kind of uh, pizza that is. Be getting started. Oh man, I had for dinner. I had chips and salsa. My uh, mother-in-law and stuff for my uh, birthday um, ended up making some uh, some salsa for me. So I started eating it uh, some last night, but it's like a bowl like this big, this big around. Oh my gosh! And um, I have to literally finish that before I go to my conference. Either that or my wife's going to finish it. Um, so... My wife was a little bit late getting back, and she's busy and stuff uh, tonight. So, I was, um, I told her, I was like, okay, so are you going to be able to pick up something in enough time and stuff for the stream? Or should I just get something out of the fridge? And then it, like, occurred to me, like... Oh, that's right. I got the chips and salsa. So I just grabbed that, and I was just I was just chowing down on that and stuff uh, before stream. So, mmm, pizza. I know pizza is always so good. Gonna lurk for a bit. All right, no problem there, Jazzavar. Have a great uh, lurk there, buddy. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. Uh, you know, four and six, and then seven, I think. And then I did like ten. I never really got into eight. I, I played it through and beat it once. Once through. But, um, and then nine, I never really gave a chance. I'd like to go back and play nine, though. But, um, but yeah, this was the first one that I played. I remember renting this from Blockbuster back in the day, and I love it. I was super excited when I was able to buy a completed box of this game, just to be able to have it, because, I mean, this game will just always hold a special place for me. It is, um, it's just great. It's just such a great game. Um... Miko! How are you doing there, Miko? Great to see ya! So guys, we also have the uh, the merch store is open. Um, it's been open, but we added uh, two more items in there. We added actually one image of uh, Beer Man, and now we have him. You can get him on a shirt or on a coffee mug. So explanation point merch if you want to check that out. Um, and then also if we have a poll that's uh, that we have out too. So if you haven't gotten a chance to vote on that, go ahead and do that. Um, and then, um, if Doom does happen to win, Doom 2016, I'm going to start a series that we're going to be doing on Mondays. Uh, so, I mean, we'll probably play Doom other days aside from just Mondays, but on Mondays, if Doom wins, we're going to be doing what, I, what I'd what i like to call Michelada Mondays. So I'm going to be mixing up Micheladas on Mondays, and I'll be drinking that while we're playing Doom. And that'll be kind of our... Kind of like our late night party stream, but instead of having, you know, some like heavier type craft beers, I'll be having those and uh, to start off the week. So, and thank you there. Uh, and thank you so much and stuff there for uh, getting those uh, uh, for me there, Ragman and stuff, the uh, commands. How's the game? Ah, oh, it's going great there, Delta Dragon. How are you doing there, buddy? You're playing 10 right now. Four to six are my favorites. Oh my gosh. I have not played five. I have not played five there, Dr. Kozak. Oh my gosh. So, but um, I do have to play that eventually. Definitely. So, got food. Nice! What what food you got there, Miko? What do you got? The 12 seems to be a divisive game of some people really love it, others really hate it. Yeah, I know. It always, it, it seems like there's quite a few of those out there. Yeah, Final Fantasy XII. I don't know. I haven't really had any inclination to play anything after, like, 10. Aside from 14, I, I used to sub subscribe for that. Um, and then uh, 15 was amazing, I thought, so. Trying to navigate Twitch's 
Fun onboarding process. Nice! Ah, turkey sandwich. Ah, oh, turkey sandwiches are always great. I love turkey sandwiches. There's a place near us called Capriotti's, and they actually make a turkey dinner sandwich, and it's on a sub. It tastes so great. I mean, they have turkey on it, and then they have, like, stuffing and cranberry sauce, and oh my gosh, it's like all mixed together. I mean, literally, it's like a turkey dinner. 14 as well. I really liked 14 as well. For sure. 14 was great. It's just, you know, for streaming purposes and, and you know, not having as much time to play, I didn't want to be committed to just one game. So, but I really had fun with that. I mean, I streamed it for a while, but it's like, unless I stream for more than like two days a week, it was kind of, I, I just didn't see it worth it really. Because it's only like eight times a month and you're paying this fee, so um, I, I, I figured I would just stop it after a while. It was fun though. But um, yeah, five is great. Job system, story is weak compared to four and six. So much customization. That's cool. There's a re-release of 12 recently. That's right. That's right. That's right. My fault! How are you doing there, my fault? Great to see ya. Really not that difficult. Yeah, it, it just takes some getting used to and stuff too, because uh, Delta Fire Dragon just got uh, two affiliates, so just getting everything all, I think, set up with that is what he's doing. Retro the Delicatessen Extraordinaire. <laughs> I don't know if I go that far. Yeah, I stream 14 occasionally when they release new content for a game where I mostly sit and with it is background noise. It's not good for streaming. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fun, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like being tied down to just one game. I love variety streaming. If, I, if you had to tell me that I had to pick one game to stream for like, for the life of that game on Twitch, I, I don't know if I can name one. I mean, even playing one of my favorite games, like even this game, I just couldn't go go and continue playing this, you know? So, doing well, thank you. Awesome, awesome to hear. Awesome to hear. So hopefully we'll be able to squeeze in another stream uh, later on this week. Next week, guys, I'm not going to be around. I have a work conference in Vegas. So, um, I won't be streaming next Monday or uh, throughout the week. Um, I leave Monday and get back on Friday, um, but I don't know if I'll be able to stream by the time I get back. I don't know if I'd be able to stream Friday night. I can let everybody know if that's possible, but um, geez. Um, but uh, we'll, get, um, we'll get some streams when I get back though too. I don't think MMOs are good for streaming in general. Yeah, they go crazy getting stuck to one game. I know, me too, for sure, for sure. And I know that it's a lot more difficult to really get kind of a really good following, probably, than viewers and stuff at times, because you're constantly switching games, but I don't care. I'm having fun. You know, I mean, that's the main thing. So, do you like sushi? I do! Oh my gosh, I love sushi. Unfortunately, the wife is not a big sushi or seafood fan. So it's, if we go somewhere and they happen to have sushi or seafood, I will order it, but it's not like we can go to just a, a seafood place though, so. I do, you you do there, Miko? Nice. I do follow a few uh, Final Fantasy XIV streamers to play other stuff. I've been playing Monster Hunter World on PC. Nice. Nice. Bye, every Storm! How are you doing there, buddy? Gotta go to uh, Sushi Roku at the forum. Japanese Fusion Bistro. You know when you go, dinner is on me. Wait, where where is this where is this place at there, Fortifier? 2X is RGB perfect now. Where's where's this place at there, Fortifier? Is it around this area or Okay. You know what? Maybe I should have probably tried going down the middle part. Oh, it's at Caesar's Palace. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Sometimes we, we um, I usually, um, well, I, it's, 
and, and many of you may not know and stuff, but I work for a family business, and I'm part of the family. So um, when we go to these conferences, I travel with the um, the CEO of our company and um, and his wife, which is my parents. So it's when we go to this conference and everything, we usually kind of stick together. So I usually go wherever they end up deciding to go. So. Um, I mean, I could easily just probably go someplace else, but I don't know. I just usually kind of hang around. Yeah, the shops by the forum, and we usually we go to the, um, um, if one of the nights and stuff, we go kind of to some of the restaurants over there, too. They have a good, um, a, a, a good selection on places. Be as clean. How do I live without this? Probably, uh, still tired. Extreme. Streamer, it didn't happen. Because <laughs> at Paris, at Paris is perfect. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. That is awesome, their fortifier. That is awesome. Well, welcome back. It's great to have you back, and then um, Bud Paget's back as well too. It's like it's like a family reunion with our uh, our retro uh, streamers back. So. Go to Vegas every year for my birthday. Oh, you did? Oh, wow. Yeah. We go every year for this conference. I mean, really, literally, it's only like, you know, a four-hour drive or like a less than hour flight. So, it um, it works out. So, we go every year. That or let me buy you in the Emily Jam some discounted Day Soleil tickets. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah my, my wife's not going. Um, it's just gonna be myself and then uh, and then my parents and then we have two storage managers that are going to out of our group so it's a uh, it's a storage conference so our company really uh, it takes a lot of pride in um, in education so which is always a good thing because so I will be gone at that but uh, when we get back we'll be able to squeeze in some streams there may not be as many Saturday streams next month. Just because of the fact that um, I'm going to be brewing and bottling uh, two out of the four weekends. So, um, I, I might be posting some videos on the YouTube channel as well too, so you can check that out. But it's I'm not going to live stream the whole thing. Um, it's, just, it's just kind of a long process for brewing, and then plus, we get kind of busy, and then there's some downtime, so... It doesn't make um, make very much sense to do that. Plus, if we did that, I would feel very obligated to, you know, paying attention to chat and everything. And it just, oh, wow. Not take out anything at all. Um, and so, in, in this case, I'm just going to probably just have some video clips. 21st, terribly Atlantic City trip of getting older. Lost interest in birthdays. Mine's in February, so there's usually a good chance of snow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah true i mean mine's mine's in august it just passed so you got the other extreme here in southern california it's always hot okay well doing titan on these guys doesn't work out very well only taking out one um shoot gosh Ow! okay Alright, let's see if we can get uh, Major to uh, life him back up. Well, well, we might as well not wait for that. Do this. Jeez. Okay. Alright, fine. Here we go. Hopefully it'll be a, a spot where we can use a tent. Coming up. 32x CD is clean. Nice. So what are you uh, what are you gonna be streaming tonight there, Fortifier? Press Sega CD is good. Okay. All right. Jeez, Edge only has 10. Gosh. Okay. Come on. Come on. Just hit him. Hit him, Ragna. Hit him. Come on. 
Oh! Okay, good. EDN 32X. Got my uh, Frame Meister with, in with uh, RGB cables. Nice! Full RGB now. Awesome! Awesome! Cargy Hilly. <laughs> it's tomorrow. Oh man. Learn Drain. The, okay, Ogre. Okay, we can't put that on him. Let's see. I like Ice Brand, but... Um... Keep out your equipment that on him. Q97, okay. Cool. Get the uh, healed up here. Yeah, so I'm hoping for at least another stream this week if we can. I will see. It'll be either on uh, Thursday night or um, Saturday midday, probably. Or Saturday, kind of like uh, late morning when Sammy would take a nap. Unless we decide to go anywhere. If, if we're just staying around the house, then, um, then we'll have a stream on... Um, we could do that on Saturday. And then um, Sunday, I mean, I guess there's a chance I could stream as well, too. But, uh, and then Monday I'll be leaving, so. so they don't explode. Okay. Alright. Oh. As much as I want to attack the Mato, at least we don't have four of them. That was, that was insane. Having four of them. That we were fighting right there. Bum, 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 bum. I can attack too much then. Aren't you on that 500 mark? Yes, you are. Oh my gosh. Which reminds me, this um, this coming month in September, um, I'll try to get the um, the Wall of Fame all updated too. We're gonna be doing that from now on every um, uh, every three months. Just because uh, if we did that every month, there'd really sometimes, you know, only be like four streams that month. I mean, we'll try to stream obviously more than that, but um, that might be, it might not be worth, really worth that while. I mean, if we're doing four streams a month and three hours, I mean, that's only people progressing like maybe 12 hours if they're here for the entire stream. So um, I figure once, uh, once a quarter, would probably work out best. At least it'll give me some time, and uh, I should should have no problem with uh, being able to update that. Wow, that was amazing. I actually love having Drain that weapon on Ragna. That is great. Speaking it real quick, did anyone win the name thing yet? Um, you know what? Did that close yet? It hasn't closed yet. Guys, explanation point name if you want to name Edge. And then let me know what you want to name him. We'll, uh, we'll go and name him after um, after we get through the uh, Tower of Babel here. So, um, but uh, no, it hasn't closed yet. So, explanation point name, it is 500 points. Should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> I would have probably reopened it back up for other people, seeing that it closed. Um, but do let me know, because, um, just in case you do, anybody does leave, so. Back to Lurk. Alright, no problem there, Jezebar. But, um, yeah, I mean, pretty much Edge is one of the last characters that we really get in this game to be able to name, so, I mean... You get Fusoya later, but... I mean, you could name him, but... It seems like you get him just very briefly. Okay. Be good. 
kind of a maze going back and forth. Okay. Alright, so not that way. Yeah, the late game, uh, late part of this game is always great. I love playing through this game. Except the, um, what is it? I think it's called the Sealed Cave. That, that place is a pain in the butt. A mainly a pain in the butt if you are under level. Um, but aside from that, it's not too bad. Actually, we should have worked on these balloons. These certain things are going to explode on us, I think. Um, I think there's a safe spot coming up, so let's just use Titan. I wonder, I wonder if uh, Titan is going to work on these balloons. Are they floating balloons? Or are they grounded? Who so he is a moon person, maybe his name should be unusual, but still, it's a dumb name. Ah! Shoot. The balloons are floating. Yeah, I, I don't know where, where in the world they came up with it, yeah. This is a very awkward name. Okay, alright, well. Try to get him quick. I don't even want, I don't even want Ragna to jump. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay. Alright. Captain has, like, the best defense against, um, against those exploding balloons. Okay. Alright. We definitely need to find a place to save, and I think that there is that one coming up. So we should be good. But uh, guys, don't forget to vote in the poll for the next game. We have three great games on there. We have Doom 2016. We also have Secret of Honor for the PS4. And then we have Final Fantasy 3 Super Nintendo, which is Final Fantasy 6. But um, it is the raw English translation. So if you have played the game before, if you haven't played the game before, or you played it through maybe once, you may not be able to tell too much and stuff on the translation there, but if you are a hardcore fan of Final Fantasy VI and um, really kind of are into more of, you know, what's said in, like, the English version, this one is going to be the raw Japanese translation. It makes the game really interesting. Really interesting to watch. Um, and I think that that one's actually in last place, too. So, we... Uh, we need to see if we can get that uh, get that up there and stuff on um, on winning. I played a little bit of it, but then I lost my save on it. But um, really, um, it, it was really awesome. It's a lot better, um, you know, hearing the real, uh, you know, the Japanese translation as opposed to, um, you know, hearing um, Hefka say uh, "son of a submariner." Whatever that is. <laughs> okay, so if there is anyone that does want to enter on in, we'll still continue to allow entries. Uh, just cost 500 uh, tokens. Doom has 8 voids, uh, votes, uh, man has 5, and 3 has a big old 0. Gazvar, you're still in. You're still in there, but Gazvar is making sure. Now, if there's anybody anybody else aside from Jazzavar who's already entered in, you're so good, Jazzavar. You might you might just win it by default if nobody else enters in. I mean, I don't want to charge any more than 500 tokens for for Edge. He's an amazing character, but he also um, it's also like late game, so. Really, we're over halfway through. Oh, Fortifier enters in. All right, Fortifier, what would you like Edge to be named? Just in case you win, because I'm sure you're going to probably have to take off here uh, soon, possibly. So, um, um, just in case, 
I want to know what to, um... Oh, um, explanation point points there, uh, uh, Dr. Kozak. Already named too many characters. I know, Ragnar's been with us, like, the entire playthrough of this. So, usually he's throwing his hat in the ring if there's, uh, nobody else that enters in, so... Yeah, he's got a, a character named right after him, um... Yeah. Use his Japanese name. <laughs> Edward? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Lord Squish. Unfortunately, that wouldn't fit. I know, we have... I think we only have five characters. Yeah, 40 would win. Yeah, we could put that. Absolutely. Absolutely, that'll fit. It's perfect. Okay, cool. So we have Jazzy and then uh, 40. The ninja. It's got to be Kakashi. Okay, it's six. Okay, it is. Okay. I remember it was like five or six. It's just, it's unfortunate on some of these early games. It's like NES, like, allows you like five. The SNES allows you like six, it seems at times, so. I want to change my uh, naming to Naruto. Okay. Um, yeah, if we have six, I thought it was five, but you know what? Maybe I'm thinking of one of the earlier games. But, um, yeah, Kakashi would be good. Hope you win. <laughs> hilarious. Oh my gosh. You know what? It's not going to be any more hilarious than last time we played through this game. Um, we had one of our viewers um, named Tella420 guy. Just hilarious. It was just funny. It was just, it was hilarious. And then when we played through Earthbound and stuff, my favorite food was, uh, booty. So yeah, so that was always great when my main character was getting a whiff of booty every now and then. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. So yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you allow your viewers sometimes to change the name. But it makes it really fun, it really does. Oh my gosh, I mean... Who would want to keep them as their regular names, unless you're just going by tradition? Suki or Zabu... Well, I, I, pick, one, pick one of them. And stuff there. Gazavar, whichever whichever one you want more. That was calling you to say he's got some fresh booty for you. Yes! Exactly! Or the, or, the, or the waitress and stuff is like saying, Um, yeah, we're a refined restaurant, we don't serve booty here. It was just great, and Jazavar was the one that told me to put that in, so it was great. Okay, Naruto, okay. Alright, awesome. Alright, perfect. But yeah, it just made the whole game funny, and it was my first playthrough of it, too. Booty, please, we don't serve such trash on our menu. Yes, I think that was the line, it was something like that. It's in the highlight reel, I know. So, it was so worth it. It was, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, when I'm naming the favorite thing for my next playthrough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. Still looking. Alright, no pro no problem there, uh, Kazavar. Yeah, it just made it made it for a really funny, hilarious playthrough. The good thing is, is I mean we're getting some levels as we're going through this this area. At least Edge is uh, gaining up some levels. He really needs it. Cause the rest of the team is like almost like ten levels higher. So, but yeah, I really enjoyed playing through Earthbound. The, I mean, the first playthrough, I was really, I was really on edge. I just didn't know what to expect, and you know, it's just like everything kind of about that here. game really, um, you know, kind of. You know, rubs you a little bit the wrong way, kind of. Uh, but, you know, once you go through the whole game and put it all into perspective, it is uh, it is great. I love it. Spooky! How are you doing there, Spooky? Awesome to see ya. How are you doing today? But, uh, but yeah. So, I actually started playing uh, when I was on vacation for that week. And we went out of town. I brought my 3DS and I bought it on the... Uh, the uh, virtual console, virtual store, whatever, and um, ended up uh, playing that. I got all the way to Saturn Valley um, on there, so 
I don't know. I love playing through it the first time, but then again, on some games, it's really nice going through. I almost enjoy more the second time, just because you're able to wrap your head around everything, and it puts everything into perspective, and you could really just enjoy, enjoy it. You kind of know what's coming up, and so you can prepare. Like, say you got a boss that's coming up, and it's just going to be a pain in the butt fight. You know that you'll be able to go through and prepare for that fight or get some items or whatever. When you're playing a first playthrough, I mean, any of the bosses on Earthbound, you're just like, I mean, you feel so great after you beat them, but it's it's one of those things where, you know, you start going through the game and stuff the second time and you know what to expect, so it's great. So I'm like, so we had to go for round two. I mean, fighting. <laughs> made up for it. <laughs> Nice. No worries. Had work today. I'm gonna have tomorrow off. Nice. I am doing great. I am doing great. Awesome to see you. We um, hopefully we will be able to get another um, another stream going uh, this week. I'm not exactly too sure, but I will announce it on um, Twitter and on the Discord. But then also we'll uh, we'll put the countdown clock for the next stream too. When I know for sure. Uh, we'll put that on the Twitch page, so. Good. Glad you're streaming. Thank you there, Spooky. Yeah. I mean, Mondays are for sure. Next week, though, I will be out of town at a work conference, so uh, there won't be a stream next week. Um, so I'm hoping that we could fit maybe another stream in um, this week, or maybe even a couple of them. So, and then when I get back, we'll, we'll definitely be back that following Monday, though. So. The only place I still don't like in Earthbound is uh, mole stuff. Places grueling. Yes! Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I felt that same way, too. Yeah, it's just, there's... The, the, the game is really fun. I mean, the first time I played through it, it was just like I was saying, it's... It, 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 really, it really does kind of put you on edge. You just don't know exactly what to expect. The music, I mean, it's funny because it kind of rubs you a little bit the wrong way on the game, but that's what I love about it, though, too, after playing through it. And once you have, have played the whole game and just it puts it into all perspective, it's I think I'm having more fun with my second playthrough of it. So. So, but it's, uh, it's fun. We probably won't do a playthrough of it on stream for a while, because I'll probably play the second time off stream, but... Uh, we have some other RPGs that, uh, that we're thinking about adding on to, and then some non-RPGs, too. Um, on to our upcoming polls in the future. Um, I'm looking at po probably doing maybe another run of um, Super Mario RPG. Um, I'm looking also at Illusion of Gaia and Lagoon uh, for Super Nintendo. Um, so, looking at... Um, Quite a few uh, different uh, different games and stuff upcoming, and then also non RPG games. So also looking at uh, The Last of Us. I we played through that. I love playing through that. So that would be a really fun playthrough to do here um, soon. Um, we already have Doom on the um, on the poll. Um, just a bunch of other ones. So Illusion of Guy. I really liked that game. I really really like playing through that game. I know Bud Padgett had a hell of a time going through that, you know, and um, I think he, I think he just got so frustrated that he, he stopped that playthrough. But you know what? I mean, it's better, I think, for any kind of game that if you really are super frustrated with the game, you know, it's always better and stuff just to not play through it than to, you know, make yourself play through it. I mean, you know, if 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 it's just a tough part. You know, sometimes leveling will get you past it, but sometimes you really just, you know, it, it, it's more than that, so. Get that on my classic, but can't do it with without uh, Retro Arc, apparently. Ah, yeah. Yeah, true. The mermaid, oh, the mermaid creature, the enemy, yeah. Did you permit someone to play Chen, Chen, Chen Mew? What is, uh, what is that? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Um... Okay. Don't need to use her magic. We can use, uh, Captain. 
What, uh, what is it? What is that game? I don't think I've ever heard of it before. Is QTE the video game? But, um, yeah, so we got uh, some great games coming up. Um, I do also want to play, um, we, I want to get uh, back and do another playthrough of Willow for the NES. Um, I just have to see if I could get that set up on the Retron uh, 5, though. So, the Dreamcast Adventure game meets uh, Quick Times. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. The new but old video game for the Dreamcast. Okay. Ah, okay. Alright. Supports the uh, new remake. Ah! Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That is super cool. That is cool. Yeah, so um, we're going to probably stay away from blind playthroughs, but I'm going to kind of probably bend the rules a little bit on that. I know we were talking about um, um, going through and playing um, um, Metroid Prime 2, so uh, we'll eventually do that, I know, um, so pretty pet it. play soccer. So, but we're going to go back and play through a lot of the games that we've uh, beaten on stream. Uh, early in my uh, streaming days. So we'll probably also get back into playing Final Fantasy 7 and I also want to do Final Fantasy 10. Now I do know that's going to be a long playthrough, um, but what the heck? Um, that's a pain. Not too many bad memories. We'll make my rounds. Good easy, get retro. Pleasure to see you again. Awesome to see you too there, uh, Fortifier. As always, always great to see you there, buddy. And welcome back. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. What the? Ow! No. Okay. Just come on. Take him out. Welcome back from the lurk there, Jazzavar. Oh my gosh. Charm is the biggest pain in the butt in this area. Wow. Exactly there, Ragnar. What kind of pizza? What kind of pizza there, Jazzavar? Pepperoni. Nice. Nice. That was one hell of a fight right there. The artist. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Have a glass of uh, red Ziffindel. Nice. I'm actually starting to kind of venture out into uh, a bit of wine as well too. I have the palate for it, um, just because of my broad array of uh, liking craft beers, a lot of IPAs, porters, stouts, and sours. So, um, so because sometimes you know they may not have a beer that you like and stuff on draft. But, um, you know, they, you might have an option for wine, so that uh, works out. The <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. Another stream. I am the... <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I know Ragnar's a, a cabin boy. Ragnar's a cabin boy. <laughs> we all like booty here. Um, exactly. Okay, change. Okay. Alright. Pick down that balloon. So his uh, is the uh, pole changed there, Ragna? Um, on any games that are um, that are winning, because we are over halfway through with this game, so we'll be closing out that pole soon. 
Um, I mean, we probably have, what, maybe three other streams, I think, of this? Um, coming up. Oh my gosh. Edge. Dad. Mom. Glad you are fine. So am I. Sub Zero. <laughs> That's spooky. He's only subby. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's still 8 to 5? Alright, thanks there, Ragna. Edge, come. Come with us. To where? To the dark world. This part really is. This part is. I forgot about this until actually, uh... Until we started stream today. I will bring you all down to the Hades. Yeah, this this game has a lot is an emotional roller coaster. I wonder if that is the reason why there's not very many people that really particularly care for it. I don't know. Dad, mom, what's wrong with you? In fact, my cat is being cute. All right, no problem. There's spooky. the DS version correct. Go. Ed Rubicant scenes voice acting is so good. You know what? I don't know if I've played all the way through. I don't know if I've played all the way through. I always kind of like, I'm hesitant to play it on the DS, especially since I started streaming, just knowing that it's me, Edge. Just knowing that it's, it's, that this is like one of those games that I like to do, like, at least like once a year, once every other year or so to stream. So, but I don't think I have played it on the PS version. Like about Rubikin, he heals you right before the fight. Yeah, at your best. That's true there, Jazavar. They became conscious. Edge. Listen. We're no longer human. We must not live long. You can sacrifice your lives for others, yeah. Sorry. Before we lose our... mind, we must go. Take care, Edge. No, please. Goodbye, Edge. Don't, Mom. Don't go. She's him sacrificed her life for others. Then the reveal it was somehow. Yes, and they are all just alive again. Yeah, it's almost it's almost like a Disney kind of like ending, you know. I had to leave my door open for a cat to visit my room. All right, gotcha. No, no problem there, Spooky. Them died, Polymaporum sewn themselves cured. Yeah, just knocked out. I mean, I guess aside from I mean Edge's parents, you know. So my stock went down by point thirty five percent. I got to sell out. <laughs> Binary storm, oh my gosh. Take that back, I believe Tella was the only real casualty. Where was he? If you don't see the body fade away, they're they aren't dead. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Tella. Wait. I could sustain these kinds of losses. Wretched Loogie. 
How dare he? Rubikan, I'm not gonna forgive you. Never. Rubikan turned your parents into monsters on his own. I apologize for that. I'm not like the others, you see. I want to play fair. Shut up. How brave. But you'll never gain real strength as long as you are swayed by emotions. I'll show you the power. Of anger. Rage drew out Edge's hidden powers. He visits. I love when uh, my cat just walks around my room. <laughs> See my uh, Sub-Zero drawings? No, I haven't. No, I haven't seen them. Yeah, I don't think I saw them. Unless you posted them, like, during the stream. Edge acquired Flood and Blitz. I see, but my Cloak of Flame cannot be penetrated even by coal. Now, I restore you to full strength. Fight with all your might. Yeah, I, I, Jazzamar is absolutely right. I mean, definitely uh, mad respect and everything else like that for curing you right before the fight. God, we don't have Leviathan right now. Watch an emotional ending to a deep game to the moon. Oh, did you? Wait, is that the one that, uh, it, it, that it, it, that's what, um, uh, Thunder Scepter's playing, right? Still whipping. <laughs> Eating it like groceries. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Captain Hatch in a harebrained scheme to allow myself to brew mead while here in tech school. Oh man, just don't get yourself in trouble there, buddy. Just posted both of them. Ah, oh, that's awesome there, Spooky. I'll definitely check it out afterwards. Oh, he just finished the first game. Ah, gotcha. What the? Wow. Too. I have alcohol while in the dorm, so if I get married, I could live off base and regular housing, which will allow me to brew it in my heart's content, but get extra pay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> on Discord. Awesome. Under the hook, you pick selfies and perlers. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Um, shoot. Jiva would be a good one to use. Alright. Tier 3. Come on. Definitely. Um. Somewhat. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, he, he, yeah. He, he is. I think. I think we're we're pretty well leveled. But now yeah, there goes Pager again. All right. No problem there, Jazzavar. Bro, <laughs> Sub Zero would look like this. Come on. I'm trying to keep everybody healed up. At least she did the uh, uh, cure three. I'd probably be. It'd probably be the same way for me there, Binary Storm. Arr! Okay. All right. Well, we'll have him do cure two. This still looks cool. You just get more benefits if you're married. Ah! Are you saying that she discriminates? Okay, how much is that going to take out of cap? Alright, he's still alive. Okay. Ah, uh, Shiva. Come on. Come on, Shiva. Oh, shoot! Ah, uh, this is going to be good. Thank you. 
Okay, come on. Special treatment to one group of people. Discrimination. Alright, what is this gonna do? Heal. Great. Look at my picture. I'm at it on Twitter likes it. I do Shiva right now. I'll probably open this clip coming up. Alright, come on. Come on. Timing is everything on this fight. Come on. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. She always takes such a long time to cast uh, call spells, too, so. I mean, we're taking out more than... Okay, alright. Come on. Shiva, this time. Come on. I want to draw Melina. Who is Melina? Nice! There we go. That's better. Uh, okay. Alright. Tier 3, definitely. Be lurking on and off. Shopping around on Amazon. Getting pretty engrossed in that. <laughs> no worries there, Binary Storm. No worries at all there, buddy. But without mass spooky, brandishing the seed. No mask. Or burning teeth. Okay. Come on. Alright. Let's see. Yes! Perfect. Oh! Got him! Nice! And everybody survived. It was great. Finally, a major game level. Well, now I see why Golbez had a hard time with you. Weak people can join forces. Every time I hear that now, I think of Samuel doing his little dance every time he pushes a button and hears that. Oh my gosh. I, I can't wait until he's older, and I wonder if he'll probably remember that sound, and then every single time he plays Final Fantasy XV, he'll remember that. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. Uh, okay, well, we have Jazzavar and Fortifier, so... Um, let's see. Warriors, farewell. Um, we should be able to jump out of here. I'm kind of a little bit fuzzy on, on this after part here. Dad? I avenged you. Your Highness. Chamberlain, we won't let you let your highness go alone. Where is Rubicam? It's over. We did it. That becomes the prince. All because of these guys. Thank you, good sirs. Who's Golbez? The one gathering the crystals to reach the moon. He is the mastermind of Rubicam. By the moon? For the power. And we have to stop him. 
Bulbez. So he was behind all this. I'm gonna go get him. Oh, but your highness, we must rebuild our castle. The world is in danger. I gotta do something. Besides, I don't like that guy. Oh, but your highness. Don't worry. I go back to Evelyn. Very well, sirs. Please take care of our prince. Look, Captain, I can't help but notice we haven't uh, hit the bit donation goal yet. In a couple days. Oh, gosh. Your Highness, good fortune be with you. Okie dokie. Right. Let's go smash Golbez. Get back the crystals. Alright. Now let's go. Now watch this. Be like, oh, the crystal room, here they all are! A pitfall? Just like, see them right there. Golbez, Golbez the villain? Yep. Ouch. Ragnus, it seems like, uh, Ragnus, it seems like we've fallen to the underground. Well, Captain, I'm going through my rounds. Here, let me know how I did on my picks. Absolutely, they're spooky. I will definitely after stream. So it would only cost me 190 to make you shave your beard. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez, binary storm. Get over here! <laughs> oh my gosh, that sound effect. What the heck? I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of this. This thing over here. Okay. Let's try to work one at a time. Like 143. Okay. Alright. Ah, shoot. Can you imagine hatching all of these darn things? All at the same time? We have like charm crazy if he has a bit left on the goal. Okay, come on. Thing happened. Alright, come on. I really don't like charm. I really don't like charm. Oh, shoot, exit. This is 126, 5,000 is 64. Okay. We get to that safe spot here soon. I'm so fuzzy on this part. Oh, what's up ahead? There's two. Iron Man? Alright, come on. Change them. I changed the pricing since last time I bought bits. The smart thing to invest that money in stocks and to throw it away. Some dude on the internet I've never met just to make him shape pop. It's oh my gosh. Well, when you put it that way, <laughs> okay. Oh shoot. Okay. All right. Change. <laughs> when you put it that way. 
Gamer! How are you doing there, buddy? Awesome to see you there, Gamer. How are you doing tonight? Gamer with the bit donation! Thank you so much and stuff for that bit donation there, buddy. Oh, man. Great to see you. How have you been? Wretched slugs. <laughs> Don't any of you have that guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. Oh, man. I almost watched that movie last night, too. It was, uh, it was gonna be a little bit too long to watch, so I didn't. I had to get, get in bed at a reasonable hour, which was still, like, after 11.30 last night. Well, now that I'm done watching the Aliens movies, I need a new, uh, series of games to watch. For uh, movies to watch. Hey, Fritz! How are you doing there, Fritz? Great to see you there, buddy. Got back from Dollar Tacos with the wife, half stuffed and half in a coma. Oh my gosh. You know what my wife and I call that? We call it Beached Whale. So, oh my gosh. I've had a couple meals like that this week. I tell you, it is just, man. That was like Friday and Saturday. I had like two sluggers worth of beer on Friday night. And there were like IPAs that were like 6%. Um, yeah, I was like, I swam out of there, I felt like. Um, and then the next um, night I had, um, I, I had a, um, I've, I've been really getting into Micheladas. So if Doom wins on the game poll, what we're going to do for our, instead of doing like our Friday night, late night party streams on Mondays when we play that game, we're going to call it Monday, we're going to call it Michelada Mondays. And I'm going to be mixing those things up on stream. So I just don't want to be drinking like a lot of like really heavy craft beers starting off the week. So, um, so yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll have something a little bit lighter. And obviously, and stuff, when you're making those, you don't want to uh, mix craft beer into those. Um, that would just be, like, a sin. That would be like taking Gentleman's Jack and making, um, you know, make, making, um, you know, mixing it with Coke or something. I mean, it's just, it would just, it would just be a sin. It would just be ridiculous. You don't want to do that. Um... But, uh, so I'm gonna probably be using just foreign beers, uh, to, uh, to mix in with those. You know, at least the good thing is it'll be lighter, I'll get my, uh, my vegetables. So, be thinking healthy, right? As long as you get the vegetable juice in. But, uh, yeah, we went to this, uh, Mexican food place on Saturday night. And, um, they, uh, they made it with, uh, with Worcester sauce. And then um, Tabasco sauce, and it was just amazing. We beat Rubicat. We did. We definitely did. Yes, we did. Just watched a movie called Atomic Homefront on a landfill in St. Louis and dumped sites from the Manhattan Project. Crazy, right close to us. Oh, oh wow. Huh. Have a V8 or a Clamato mixed drink. Yeah, exactly. That counts. <laughs> Yeah. Ship. New airship? Let's take this airship and get out of the tower. It's not yours. That's okay. It would be happy to be used by us. So anyway, so if Doom wins, which right now it is, currently, so that'll be, if we're playing like a late night party stream type game, or any of those, then then that's going to be the deal. On Mondays, we'll do that. Now, if we pl happen to play like uh, on some of the other days out of the week, we'll we'll, we'll kind of switch it up. I just I just don't want to drink a lot of like heavy, potent beer on Monday nights, really. So, and then plus it has a good ring to it, you know. Isn't this a trap or something? Hashtag rigged. Don't worry, I like this airship. Let's call it Falcon. How do you like that? Hurry, edge. Okay, okay. Now, go Falcon. Edge's name will be. <laughs> That's true. 
That's true. We're we're gonna we're gonna head back to the uh, to the castle right now. Man, we we're about halfway through the stream and we made it through um, through the Tower of Babel. So that's good. time and definitely saving. Definitely said. Let's actually use two tents. Let's use two. Hey, I've been uh, a cheapskate and haven't bought any real cabins yet. I think the cap and maybe I've bought in a few, but not very many of them. I'm gonna make sure our magic was uh, set. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can go and change the name. Yeah, the code contest has closed twice now. It has. Okay. All right. Can I get a drum roll? Now I'm not opening it back up. Just gotta find naming way. Jazzavar! Oh, to name Edge. To name Edge. Naruto, okay. It's one of the last characters in the game. Try watching Castlevania on Netflix one of these days. Me too. Me too. That sounds that sounds awesome. And Ready Player One. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet either. I think name no naming way is in here. here. Castlevania was awesome. Okay. Where is naming way? Second uh, season is out in October. Nice. Okay. You're to see more. All right. Um. Shoot. First naming way. It tells an extended version of this story from Castlevania 3. That is awesome! I'm gonna play those Castlevania games again. I'm like going crazy. Where the heck is Nick? Anyway. did so well with the portrayal. And unfortunately, there's not, like, another area that we could fly to right now. To, um... Go and aim. I thought it was in this section. Actually, I thought it was here. Not the case. Oh. 
Oh, we didn't go, I guess, up to the top of it. There we go. Like, I thought, like, in every single area that Naming Way was there. is a 250-pound dwarven woman, the beard you can hang on to. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, all right, good. Do we have to talk? I think we talked to the king first, or we talked to Sid first? I don't know. Either either one. This this whole like part of the game like escapes me. Congratulations, you now have Naruto on the team. <laughs> We've been worried. How did it go? I am afraid. I see. Obez is trying to force open the sealed cave. It's just a matter of time before he succeeds. So I want you to get the crystal before him. Lucka. What is it, Father? Give me your necklace. This one? This is the very key to open the sealed cave. No one can enter the cave without it. We must defend the last crystal at all costs. We'll do our best. used to talk to Sid first. Alright, let's... Maybe not. Food? How can these people eat such tasteless... Sydney? You're okay. Good grief. Ha ha ha. Who's this chap? Chap? You impertinent brat. Who do you think you're talking to? Who is this little nuisance? I'm Naruto, the Rena, renowned Prince of Eblen. He is a prince, though his mouth betrays his nature. <laughs> and handsome, skilled ninja as well. <laughs> he is injured. Don't anger him. Impact boy? Oh, shut up. By the way, what of Golvez? We've defeated all of his four fiends. But all the crystals, except for the last one, are now... We want to go get the last crystal, but the Enterprise is above on the upper world. We snatched an airship from the enemy, but it cannot fly over the magma. Haha! Now it's my turn. Can't do anything without me. You must stay in bed. Lolly! Wait until you heal. Lolly! Oh, shut up and help me remodel the airship. We have no time to waste. <laughs> They're like just following along. He looks fine. Yeah. This part is great. It just jumps. He drags them. Okay. 
Too many waves. Now you can fly over the magma. Thank you. Sydney. He must have been very tired. He was over he has overworked himself. Thanks, Sydney. Okay! Sealed Cave it is! One of my favorite caves in this entire game. I really dislike the seal cave. The seal cave is a pain in the butt. I believe that we are at a good level, um, and hopefully we should be able to get through it tonight. Um, but let's see. Let's see how everything goes. At least, I mean, Naruto started at level 25, so we gained four levels just from going through <coughs> the Tower of Babel. Um, and then, let's see, 38, 36, 36, 36, so, he's still, still pretty underleveled. I actually didn't check the shops, let me see. Let me see if there's anything that we can, uh, we can buy for our team. Gonna need all the help that we can get probably going through this, um, this area. Wanna see if it's different. It was a glitch, I think, to skip the seal cave, but it messes the game up. Does it really? Yeah, I'm not gonna try that. Um, okay, flame, fire, okay. This looks all the same. Um, the only thing I can think of is edge. Um, maybe we can get rune? Actually, we should probably sell some stuff. Silver rune's gotta be better. Wait. 34, 6. Uh, okay, that's probably good. Let's do that. No cheating. <laughs> Someone give Captain a Red Bull. A Red Bull! A Red Bull! Oh my gosh. It's a good thing Binary Storm didn't hear that. Actually, I'm not a fan of Red Bull. I am, uh... A shareholder in Monster, so if I had to pick an energy drink, it, I would it would be Monster all the way. Okay, um, let's see, silver, I think black. Let's see. That's a che cheating. You don't use a game genie. <laughs> I know. I I haven't seen a game genie for the SNES in like such a long time. Wait, whoa! We must have got that in one of the chests there. Monster and Rockstar fan myself. Unfortunately, when you go to Vegas, everything is all Rockstar, really. But yeah. Um, I'm actually, uh, yeah, for my job and everything, I'm a portfolio manager, a stock portfolio manager, and one of our holdings is uh, Monster Beverage, so. I am actually, I'm not sure if you know this, but Monster Beverage actually started from the company, the juice company, Hansa Natural. That's what the company was named, um, was before. And then Monster took off. And um, and now uh, Coke has a 16% interest in Monster and literally has given over all their uh, energy drinks to Coca-Cola, or Coca-Cola has given over the energy drinks to Monster Beverage and Monster Beverage has given the juices over to Coca-Cola. So, we're in a partnership right now. The loop, old game genie, and those little code books before the internet. Oh yeah, still have one uh, with all the cartridges in a box in my closet. Oh my gosh. That's awesome there right now. That is awesome. Okay, all right, let's see what we can... We need to get rid of some stuff. Or... We got a bunch of these silvers, let's sell them. We don't have any need for those. Um, fire armor? 
think we eat it. And my first strip it in the desert. Now I see them more in stores. See, that's the thing too. Yeah. So now, um, now you're seeing monster worldwide. I mean, it's been a stock that's been doing very well here recently. Well, actually, for a while, they've been doing very well. Been a good holding. Um, Earth. I mean, really, we're not gonna get. No. We just need to start throwing stuff at people. Um, I you can carry the claws, but... We need to just start throwing crap. Get rid of silver. What other things? Leather, yeah, we, we don't need it. We have some room, and if we need more room, we'll just start throwing stuff. We used to have a daily uh, monster after morning workout for about eight years. To finally break that habit. Is that why the stock went down? Okay, alright, now everything's making sense. Kidding. I know, I used to drink them a lot too. Actually, I drank them and stuff really, I almost like had to. Because um, I did not know this, but um, I have a sleep apnea. And. Um, I went in for a sleep study. I didn't even know how bad I had it, but I went in for a sleep study and had to get a, uh, a CPAP machine. But before I had that, it was just, it was so bad. Like, I would like literally be like a zombie by the end of the week. And Saturdays, I would like sleep. I would like sleep like 14 hours, 12, 14 hours, just to be able to get like caught up on sleep, it seemed. So. Let's see. So, but, uh, but yeah. So, I used to drink them, like, constantly. I, like, had to. By the end of the week, I had to, just to, just to survive. But, I'm glad to find out that, you know, what I had, I was a better pet machine, but I can drink, uh, soda before bed and not phase me. Yeah, I mean, people are, I think everybody's, everybody's kind of different. You know, for sure. Um, I think that we're good on items right now. Yeah, sodas don't really affect me. I mean, monsters, I usually try not to drink one after, like, 5 p.m. Unless it's, um, unless I know that I'm not going to be going to bed for a while. But, um, yeah, I try not to drink too much of them. Um, but yeah, so I'll still have them occasionally. Tell the difference when I use my machine and get solid five to six hours of good sleep. Absolutely. Absolutely, I know. I'm a I'm a big believer in that. I mean, especially if, um, you know, you snore really bad, it's definitely a good thing to uh, go and get checked out. Archer. I know we could definitely get another middle. Throw the short. So that one was Archer. Okay, so we have Archer already. Yeah, my numbers were like really off the chart. I forget even what it was. It was like, you know, like in the normal range, high of like the, of the range and stuff like that was like 20. And my numbers were like 121 or something. I don't even know what that means, but it was bad. To be serious, absolutely. Absolutely. Does our defense? Oh, this has got to be a lot better here. Okay, well, not very, not much better. Okay. Okay. 
okay. So we still need the armor and the iron. sure either my test back in 2014 just said random checkup not related doctor recommended I get one done thankful that happened absolutely I've got actually I've got other people in my family or my wife's family that had it um, wait what the heck oh it's probably because we don't have an, enough room to Unequip stuff. Okay, so. Aladdin just seems like so old. Like literally we bought that in um in um Miss Cydia. This is where we got those. Alright. Let's see. Where did these are gonna be? Unfortunately, they don't have anything for their 29, 25, 30, 25. They still gotta have wisdom. 620, 28, 23. Rune. 28, 23, 29, 20. No, we just pretty much uh, equip diamond on him. I think I should probably just sell the rune, since we already have something better. Wizard. I'm just, I'm keeping all of these um, weapons here because uh, Edge can throw them. Gonna run off and cause chaos elsewhere. That was awesome watch the stream. Cap, look forward to seeing you one more time before I move. Take care, Captain Crew. All right, there, Chasimar. Have a great one, there, buddy. Okay. All right. Sorry, I feel a little detour there, guys. I wanted to make sure that we are all set. Okay, so we have about another hour 
beam cell. Let's see. Let's see how we can do on this uh, sealed cave. I'm almost tempted of wanting to go to the cave of summon summon monster, but to the sealed cave. Summon monsters, which will probably be helpful because we'll have to uh, fight coming up there. If you keep done by the seal, then the way to the Dark Crystal will be open. Really dislike it. It's not as bad as the Metallic Cave. Metallic Cave is a pain in the butt. I don't like that one because you just really... I mean, it, you just feel like so helpless going through there. So I guess it's not that bad, but so these, this is like a maze with all the different doors, and that's kind of a pain. But I do feel like we're pretty, we're pretty well leveled. I mean, Edge or Naruto is kind of under leveled, maybe a bit, but um, or maybe he's just like right at level, maybe. But. Um, you know, hopefully maybe between now and what, whenever that next stream might be, which the earliest would probably be possibly Thursday or Saturday, maybe I'll be able to level while fight. Yes, it does. That's the other thing that I really dislike is that wall fight. Oh, man, so close. You, you should hit it, I think, tonight. So how's your balance in Elite? Um, I haven't played it really... Uh, much since the last time we really talked. Um, I was gonna play it a little bit last night, but I don't know. I was just... I played quite a, quite a bit of... Uh, did a bit of gaming and stuff yesterday afternoon with it, so... I kind of wanted to take a, a little bit of a break. I really like it, though. I really do. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll have to see if we do a, a stream of that. We could maybe do just, like, a one-off stream eventually, too. I really... I almost... I don't want to do it just in the just per se because we have a lot of um you know we don't have too many streams during the week that we have so i don't want to really have just like one a one-off stream kind of playing that game just because i want to be able to make it through our playthroughs but um you know i'm, I'm definitely going to play some off stream it, it's it's really really pretty relaxing and i i felt like it was i felt like i really learned quite a bit yesterday I'm playing the game. See, this is the biggest pain, is this stupid disrupt. This is, this is one of the things I really don't like. You could probably just threw something at him. See, so he does a search and then he does this disrupt. So you really need quite a bit of uh, lives going through here. Usually, I think we could take them out before. Um... Yeah. Okay. Need to use Titan, but I really don't know what other one would be good. Have to find out what uh, how these how they do. Let's see. Let's see how Titan does. I'm taking him out. 2004, not bad. Ragna and Naruto gained a level. That's the thing, is really, you really want to go through this and find out where the, um, where, where you have the safe spot, too. The good thing is, once you fight these trapdoors, I think they're gone for good. So, as long as you can survive and you don't end up dying, you know, and you find a safe spot, then you're good to go. But, um, it is such a pain because this, this whole area is just a maze. Thing 
is when it takes out our enemy, it takes out our characters. It's almost like you probably don't want to, like, fuel them all the way up. But then again, too, if you don't, then, um, you know, then just enemy hits can take them out. So, just trying to be careful. Long sword knife. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay. Good old... I was just curious. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Sir Dragon. No worries at all. Yeah, I like it. I really do. I really do. I mean, you know what? If I was... If I was playing that back before our, you know, I started really, uh, you know, pairing back, I would have definitely done some one-off stream on that game. For sure, but I don't know. When you're streaming for sure, like, only one day a week that you know for certain, um, you know, you're just always just kind of care more careful and stuff on, you know, wanting to be able to get through games. Because I really don't want to get it get to the point where we're playing these games for like ever in um, in a day you know balances nine figures ah so we do want to be able to make some uh, some progress on uh, on beating these games come on Yeah, no, nah, it just it, it just makes sense. It's really fun. Man, I could definitely get into playing that game though. Yes! Got him before you took out Marley. I think you get more do you get more experience for taking him out before the other guy shows up? I don't know. Bet you didn't get that uh, jump off before he did the disrupt. Oh I know. I was thinking that same exact thing. I was thinking that same exact thing. Look at this. We already went through just about Captain's magic, just killing ourselves up from two of these trap doors. Ah, it's probably close enough, right? Now. Has to be really annoying. Yeah, it is. Let me, let me see, was there anything else out this way? Okay, there's not, all right. This is the way we gotta go. Just wanted to make sure, this this thing really is a maze. This whole area. It's like, if you knew exactly where to go, you probably save yourself a boatload of time. But there's also sometimes some good uh, items behind the doors too. So. Try to see if we can get, get, get this. Yeah, I mean, look at that. The Major was at full health. I'm just taking out. This is where you just don't want to mess around. Like, I'd probably... It'd probably be good if I, like, used... Um, if I threw, like, some of our items at him. But then again, um, I don't want to be going through the list while, you know, he's taking our enemies out. Or taking us out. There we go. All right. But I don't have to use more than one life. But I mean, look at the experience we're getting. So I mean, it's it's not a bad thing. It's just like Dragon said. It's just more annoying. You just have to make sure you bring a lot of uh, a lot of lives in here. <laughs> so this is Mr. Quest, right? <laughs> Random bystander here. How are you doing, there, buddy? Great to see ya. How have you been? Uh, I don't think he could use search again until he disrupts the first person he searches. Yeah. Ragna is in the air. You can dominate the battle while he twiddles his thumbs. Yes! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I remember that part. Yeah. Yeah, so that would have that would have worked out pretty well. We just have to be, like, right on top of our, uh, our fight in there. Nobody uh, did pick up Miss School Ninja. Yes, we did! We did! I'm sorry I didn't share it. Oh, see, look at that crap. See, that was just like a fight to a fight. Um, but, um, but yes, I did pick up, uh, 
Uh, Legend of Miss uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Oh my gosh, fun fun game. I I I was really excited about getting that game. I really was. That one has been tough to find, and it's funny because it's not very rare. At least not anymore. It seems so. Feel good. Have the uh, first day of senior year of college. Oh, nice, nice. Oh man, that's gotta be that's gotta be great there, Random Bystander. I mean, just in that last year, just one more year to go. Oh my gosh. I think I've been done with college. Let's see. I've been done with college for 16 years now. It is just crazy. I mean, I'm constantly learning all the time, you know. But actually, like going to like a college class and everything, um, it's been 16 years. So. It's just crazy to think. So, but uh, yeah, we, we will play uh, Mystical Ninja and stuff on stream too. Um, I want to kind of get back into it and see um, see what I got to do and stuff while I'm playing that game. Almost there, Binary Storm. Think about starting, uh, starting back up. That's awesome there, gamer. I was done with college when I got my associates. <laughs> Yet here we are. Yeah, I know. That's you know what. That's the thing too. It just with a lot of people and stuff going to college now. It's just I mean education is absolutely important. I'm 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 a believer in stuff in that, but I also do believe in stuff. You know, sometimes you know college may not be the best route for everybody though too. But it seems like with everybody going to college, you know, it's jobs are kind of competitive at times. So it's like if you really want to get that that job. Sometimes, um, you know, you have to have, like, that four-year degree. Especially depending on the profession. So. But, yeah, I know. You just start going to get your associates and then bachelors, so. My educational active duty doesn't cost me a dime that way. <laughs> That's a good way of going. Oh, man! Look at Ragnar. Okay. Come on. See if we can take him out. Oh! Critical hit right there. Shoot, come on. Come on, Marley. Come on, Marley. Alright. That's gonna be it. Yes! It was a good time when, when he only takes out one of your characters. The unfortunate thing is Ragna missed out on that experience, but, you know, trying to go back in there and trying to balance that whole thing out and trying to, you know, make sure that um, they're all lifed up to be able to get that is just, it's not worth it. You're going to be going through life items like crazy. Finish my bachelor's in meteorology, my bachelor's in biomedical engineering too, my master's in muscular biomechanics. Wow. Nice. We'll see on the engineering. Yeah, education's always uh, always important. I know I have my associates in commercial flight, and my bachelor's in um, aviation management. See, look at that crap. Look at that crap. It's just like to fight, to fight, right there. But um, anyway, so yeah. So, but I've been done with uh, college. I, I finished when I was 21. Finished my bachelor's when I was 21. So, my business management financial degree for opening my restaurant. Yeah. That is always great. I mean, there's just so many opportunities with that, too. You know, business uh, management and financial type degree. But yeah, I have my private pilot's license and I have my real estate license, too. So, I've gone through all of those uh, testing as well. Next year, um, I'm going to have to go back for my uh, renewal, too. So, find someone I can trust to handle the finances while I handle the planning of the ins and outs. Yeah. graduate high school in 2012, then being in 2017. 
and life shook me, decided to get involved with Twitch, go back to college. My sleep schedule, I decided to do both at the same time. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, that's... Where's our, let's see. So there's probably treasure down this way? I'll have to find that. Okay. Like menu locations, yeah. Yeah. I got you there, buddy. So... I love it, though. Yeah, I mean, it's good. You know what? It, it, it keeps you busy. It keeps you busy. That's one thing that I like. I mean, I don't have really a complaint at all. I mean, I really... I love my job. Um, I love being... Um, you know, spending time with Samuel and the family, and I love streaming. It's just, unfortunately, you know, it's just, it's, the toughest thing is the balance, though. So. Trust me, I understand, freshman year at University of Iowa, I had a friend hang themselves, die, my mom get diagnosed with breast cancer on my first semester. Oh my gosh, wow. You buy and sell run runways, hangers, gates. <laughs> Well, no, it was, it, it's kind of, it was, it was more like a four-year degree that you could get there, Fritz, um, you know, to pursue, uh, like, aviation or whatever. Like, say, you could, you could actually be an airport manager with that degree, too. Um, but yeah, they pretty much said that it's, like, the equivalent of getting, um, a, a, a degree in business management, but instead of counting widgets, you're counting airplanes. It's, like, probably the easiest way of explaining it. Is insane. Also part of 14 clubs. I'm insane. Oh man, 14 clubs. I know. I took like 21 units when I was going for my uh, associate's degree one year. I had to petition the school to be able to do that. I took a helicopter class for fun. <laughs> so, yeah, it does. Um, it does keep you busy. It does keep you busy. Shoot. Yeah, we gotta find that safe spot coming up here. Um, because eventually, Farley's gonna be running out of magic. Okay, this should do it, right? Yes! Got him. Wait, I mean, the levels we're getting in here is not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. I mean, we still do have our Cure 2s, really, too. If worst came to worst, we could uh, start doing that. Uh, we should be good, though, because I think there's a safe spot coming up here pretty soon. These are close enough. Yeah, that's rough there, binary storm and stuff. Sorry to hear that there, buddy. Yeah. Sometimes these things just hit you all at once. And you're trying to focus, too. Guys, every time you fight a trapdoor... I know! What the heck, Ragna? They got something against you there, buddy. Oh, okay, wow. This time it's not. There we go. Finally, they're not picking on you. Are we grinding or in a dungeon? <laughs> Both! Both! We're just lost! I'm not grinding on purpose. We're just... This area is just a, a maze. So... Um, I, I do want... Because there's some items that are behind these doors that are good. So, I don't want to miss out on them. But, uh, but yeah. Some of these things, there's nothing behind them, so... You knew exactly where, which doors those were, but it's been, like, probably a year and a half or two years since i played this. I'm trying to remember. Boss in a dungeon, been there. <laughs> the good thing is, is, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's just... You know, you're not exactly too sure where, which way to 100% go. At least, I mean, I've had other dungeons where I'm just like... Screw this, this is 
ridiculous. You know, so it's not that bad. For the most part, you kind of know where to go, but, you know, you're just not sure which of these doors has an item behind it and which of them doesn't. So, I mean, we're going to have to probably grind a bit before we get to the moon anyway. So, I don't feel so bad, but if we had to do it, I'd just hate doing it on stream if we can help it. Oh man, Ragnus been following for one year, four months. Wow. We have to save. Can I tell you how I lost an hour and a half of progress on my stream? I see six and legit rage quit. Oh my gosh, wow. That's rough. What uh, what part were you on there, uh, random bystander? Been at least that long since the last time you played this on stream. Yeah, I think so. I think so, because Ragn, wasn't it? It was around that time when you first started following, right? Gosh, it's lightning too. I love playing this game, though. We're, we're going to be playing this game, like, at least every year or two. And it's just, it's such a great game. This is, this is one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. Uh-oh. Shoot. Go. We're running out of arrows. All right, Ragnar. It was like around, uh, Vector, a dungeon before the gate, and the whole dinner scene. Grinding in between. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh wow. I, I would have been upset too there, for sure. Playing Final Fantasy 3, week I followed. You just finished Super Mario RPG. Okay, gotcha. My absolute favorite. favorite. Wait, which one is? Which one's here? Oh shoot, what the heck? Arr! Wait, you know what? I think that we've been taking on life just by jumping these characters, didn't we? I think Ragnus shouldn't do that. Never played any on the PlayStation consoles. Wait, uh, Fritz, you're saying that this one's your favorite? This one is? Oh my gosh. It is, it is my first one that I ever played. Okay, we're gonna have him not fight them, I guess. Somehow, because he somehow died and... And that's even with him being able to take out, you know, life. He died inside and played Splatoon 2. Oh gosh. Wow. And speaking of Final Fantasy 3 or uh, 6, you know, officially. Um, ooh, Ice 3. Um, we, are, we do have on the poll here, guys, if you guys did get a chance to vote. Go ahead and vote. We have Final Fantasy uh, 3 for the Super Nintendo. It is going to be a, um, it's a raw translation, raw Japanese translation to English of, uh, Final Fantasy VI. So, we have that on the poll. Um, it's not getting very much love, though, too, guys. But, you know, anything, anything can happen. So. And I made a save command. Yeah, I mean, those, those are always good. Thank you there, Ragnar. Messy one was my first. Came highly recommended by a friend while we were in a rental store. Oh, really? You see, I never... Somehow I, like, I, I missed it. I, like, skipped it. Oh, wow. That light sword is definitely going to help. I somehow missed it. I Like, I played Dragon Warrior for the Nintendo, but somehow I, like, missed out on playing, um, you know, Final Fantasy on the Nintendo, the first one. Um, and I actually still have not, to this day, I have not beat the first one. I almost beat it on the Game Boy Advance, and then it was around that time, it was around that time that I, I started, um, streaming, so I didn't want to start a playthrough of that game, you know, and, and play it on stream, and, and play it on stream, but then start it, like, almost at the end. 
I think another person's gonna die here. Come on. This Marley's out of her magic. Ah, great. Shoot. Come on. Yes! Got him. It's just a pain fight in that other enemy. Learn Cure 4! We already know Wall and Float. So we're actually set for the Cave of Summon Monsters. Set for the Cave of Summon Monsters. But it is great having you here, here uh, Fritz. We're going to be playing a lot of Super Nintendo uh, RPGs, so... I hope you'll be able to uh, tune into some of those as well, too. It'll be, uh, be a lot of fun. I, I love these retro games. And like I said before, we'll be we'll be coming back to this game on a regular basis. For sure. Did I even go into that one other door? Or did I not? I need to find that safe spot. Why not? Awesome! Awesome to hear. Yeah, we just have a ton of fun and stuff with uh, with these games. But I don't know. It's looking like Doom 2016 might win. So that was a really fun game. That was the one game that kicked off my late night party stream deal that we were doing back on Fridays. And that was when we would go... I would literally stream until I couldn't stay awake. I mean, I've never felt fell asleep on stream, thank God, but, um, but it was fun. It was fun. There's actually, it's, it's part of the, um, part of our highlight reel, but the one part where you see me playing Resident Evil Zero, that was kind of around that time, um, you know, where I would stay up. Sometimes I would stay up until, like, 5, um, you know, 5 a.m. sometimes in the morning. I, like, literally was so tired and stuff, that one stream, that I didn't even remember, you know, what I did. And so I started looking through there, and that's how I found that clip of me trying to figure out, you know, what numbers would add up to 64 to, for that puzzle on Resident Evil Zero. It was just, it was just, like, so ridiculous. And the funniest part is, um, is that typically... You know, I should know that stuff just because of my profession that I'm in. So, I mean, numbers are a thing for me. Okay, see, well, who was it that we were attacking that Ragnar was getting hit so hard by? It must not have been these werebats. We really seriously need to find out where that safe spot is. Um, did we go in that last door? I think we're just gonna have to go and check it out. I would like to get through this this whole part and stuff tonight. That would be great. Um, let's see, did we go in here? Yeah, that's right. That was where that treasure chest was. Crap. And a battle coming up, probably. Okay, come on! The unfortunate thing is, is we don't have any more magic for Marley right now. So, we've just got to get lucky and try to take him out. Try to take him out. She's not going to do very well on attacking. That. Um. Okay, come on. Oh, shoot! Monster appeared. Great. This blaze is a pain in the butt. Okay, come on. Come on, Ragnar. Yes! Okay, good. Okay, you do get a little bit more when you do have to fight those guys, too. Alright, we learned smoke. Okay. Alright. So it's a little bit more. 
I'd almost much rather not fight him, though. I wish the LR would work on him. Switch back. Or... Close enough. Really gotta get that safe spot. Where is that safe spot? I'm on safe spot. Nope! No safe spot. At least you're not picking on Ragna now. We're hitting Ragna and stuff too hard last time. Every single time it seemed like they were using Disrupt on him. Nice! Ragna took out quite a bit there. Oh! Monster appeared. I really don't like this guy. This guy just blaze and just picks out quite a bit. Come on. Regular attack. Okay. Alright, good. If one person dies in the fight, not all that bad against you guys. We've probably gone through like 15 life items going through here. Personal. Get hit with Blaze and Disrupt. Yeah, I mean, true, very true. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright, we're gonna do two tens. Two tens. Finally. My gosh. I think, I think that there's two safe spots in this. I think there is. Okay, just double check in. Yeah. We might actually have to use three of them. I mean, we have the cabins. I'm going to save those for a bit later. We should start just buying those, too. Yeah. Sorry. Because really, um... The tent only heals up 100 MP. At this point in time, you know, Marley has uh, 300. Over 300. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, alright. Okay, we need to remember this spot here, too. So we can make it on back. Let's see. I think we're probably at least halfway through this cave. Which we'll have to see, I wonder. I wonder if we'll be able to finish it tonight. If we do finish it tonight, it'll be just like right on time. At least Marley will be able to, um, you know, use, uh, all magic. We'll be able to take him out. Again, that was just, that was just a pain before. At least we know what to expect. This should do it. Perfect. Okay. I'll go back to the uh, Captain the uh, Magic. Aside from these trap doors and the the wall enemy at the end, I mean, not that bad of a level. Um, okay, let's see how this goes. 106, 
114. We have Ninja here. 3512, 3612. Did we? No, we didn't. Oh, maybe we did. Okay. Alright. Nice. Okay, that's halfway. Half door. I just forget if there's uh, one or or two in here. Okay, come on, come on, right, man. Jump, 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 jump. Ow! Magna didn't make it. I was trying to go quick on that too. I don't know if they give you enough time to be able to to do that. Because there's usually kind of like um, a timing kind of like in between and stuff like that where it just goes a little bit slow on it. He doesn't take off like right out the gate. I wonder if you can even accomplish that. Not. We try to go as quick as we could on that. The good thing is, is those guys don't pick out any life out of you. Um, aside from using that disrupt. So if you could take them out before that other enemy shows up, then you're. Uh, you're looking pretty good. Yeah, close enough. I think there's another... another safe spot. I'm hoping. Hoping there's another safe spot. Coming up. Get a lot of healing items in here. Come on, let's see if we can do it. There's not enough time. There's, there's, I don't think there's enough time to do it, to pull it off. Yeah, if, if you're able to use jump before he uses that, but yeah. Oh shoot, come on. He's just like really quick on that. Unless maybe if you're um, really like high level, maybe? Able to maybe pull that off. Maybe you're a little bit quicker than him. Maybe then? But yeah, I mean we went as quick as we could on trying to use that jump. another safe spot beforehand. I think. Er, it seems like a general rule of thumb is that there's usually like two safe spots you in each uh, dungeon, though. Kane isn't the first person he searches, the timing could work. It, yeah, true. It's true. That is true. We're almost through it. I'd like to be able to get to that that demon wall uh, today. We get past them. Um, might go a little bit over doing uh, a quick uh, quick raid, but that would 
Yeah, that would be great. Then, then we could say that we got to. Oh. What? And fight's gonna take me like five minutes, right? Um, but uh, then I could say that we got through the Tower of Babel and then um, the Sealed Cave all in one stream. That would be great. That would be great. So anybody, uh, did anybody tune in to the uh, the Saturday Captoons? Uh, we had we, we had uh, the reruns playing for um, 15 hours. I think Ragna was even still shocked that we were still going, like as late as it was. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like 9 o'clock and it's still going. And I started at like 8 o'clock in the morning. It's hilarious. So it went from like 8 a.m. until 11 p.m. So literally, if we added another one onto that, that would be um, 18 hours. Do a whole, uh, a whole 24 hour, uh. I mean, you could probably beat. I think you could beat this game in 24, 24 hours, so. It's just. It'd be going the whole time. The whole playthrough. Okay. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay. Pressure there. Alright. I'm getting every single one of these. I'm not even doing it on purpose. Just, I want to make sure we don't miss anything because there's some great items. There's some great items in here. And then also, just as an announcement as well, too. Um, I have a couple more things in the um, in the merchandise store that we added too. We have um, we have what we call the uh, the beer man image. So now you can get that on um, on a T-shirt or on a coffee mug. So we've added that to the uh, to the list of uh, stuff you could buy too. Merchandise store. There we go! Oh, not even there yet. So, so close. It's like I want it to happen, happen today. Thank you there, Ragnar. Thank you there, buddy. Yeah, so we got the merchandise store. They so added a couple new things, and Streamlabs did say that they were, uh, they will, they're working on some other merchandise stuff too, that they'll be uh, adding. So I'll be super excited to see what other items will be offered on there, too. I just want to run from these fights. And like an entire stream in here. Okay, perfect. Go. Oh man. I'm like tempted. You know what? Let's let's keep going. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I think the demon wall or whatever this enemy is, this wall thing is uh, like right up ahead. Boss fight. So I say we just uh, try to press on, especially if this is going to only be the uh, the only stream that we do this week, and then that would mean that I'm not going to be back for like until two weeks after today. 
Um, I'm hoping to be back, though, either Thursday or Saturday. Saturday, like midday. Friday night, we're going to be going to see John Williams in, uh, in concert. So. Um, amazing performance. We've seen him so many years, so many years before. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's the one that did the music for Star Wars and Indiana Jones and Superman and Jaws and... Okay. I think this is it. Yeah, right here. Wait. Is this it? No, this is it. Must be right after. And then Wednesday, I have like a meeting that might run a bit late. So it's just going to be a little bit tough to probably even try to make it back to stream. Plus, I have not checked in with the uh, the major to see if these dates would work. So I'm saying that these would probably be the possible ones. Or maybe even Sunday afternoon um, could be a possibility. Um, but we shall see. Wife and I are going to see Offspring on Friday. Nice! Nice. Yeah, John Williams is amazing. We haven't gone to see him in quite a few years. But, um... I'm just... He, he's getting up there in age, so it's one of those things where it's just, like... You really want to go and see him because... You know, you're not sure. And then plus, you know, you don't, you're not even sure it's how, how long he continue to, you know, perform as well, too. So. But, uh, always, always such an amazing performance. A lot of, a lot of times they usually do Star Wars at the end, and people bring in their lightsabers, and so you just see, like, the whole entire Hollywood Bowl with lightsabers, so. The offspring over 20 years ago. I feel old. I know. I was gonna say, I was, like, listening to them, and, like, High school or junior high or something? Found the dark crystal! The wall! It's moving! They set the trap to guard the crystal! Me too. Let's destroy the trap then. Okay, shoot. See if we can do this. Such a good record. Okay. Um, I wonder if just regular fights would be a good thing or uh I always use Titan on this fight. Gosh, this is just... You're like pulling your hair out for this fight. Stay on the home prey. Oh, also awesome. Watching Alulam do this fight while killing everyone but Kane. Man, does she have him in the air when he would sign him into the party? Oh my gosh, for the last. Yeah, for the last hit. Oh my gosh, I know. That is awesome. Let's see if we can pull that off.
I could could use Ninja with uh, Naruto. Um, come on. I wonder if this will be the last Titan that we'll be able to use with Marley. Got that much. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No! You know what? I wonder if it does. Forget. Yes! <laughs> oh man! I thought we were gonna get our first death. For the hope of seeing still in his odd friends <laughs> in the ass. Shocktress, how are you doing there, Shocktress? Great to see ya. Oh man, that was perfect timing there, Shocktress. That was perfect. Oh my gosh. That wall needs Leviathan. Oh I know, we don't we don't have Leviathan yet. Oh man. We did it! A petty trap. Good graffiti wash. <laughs> Exactly. Oh my gosh. Jeez. That was tense. That would have been our first death of the entire game that we played. Thank you there, Ragnar. I thought maybe it was going to be like you had said. You know, going through. So, um, that, that, that was definitely... That's probably one of the most tense battles in this game. Aside from probably the, the final boss. Been watching? Oh man. That's awesome there, Shocktress. How have you been doing? Great to see ya. I've been uh, keeping up on uh, on Twitter and stuff on all of your different posts. But uh, how have you been? That is just that is just such a tough fight right there. I remember watching Alulam rage on that fight. Um. But I think he was a bit under leveled, I think. So good win was rooting. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Oh man. Now that like Captain is like just about out of magic. Okay. Alright. What? Let's Let's just use exit. Wait, can we not? But we could use warp, right? You know what? I think it was that we couldn't use it in here. Right? Warp we could use. Been awful, awful and dealing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that there, Shotris. Thank you there, Shocktress. That means, that means so much. I know, I've missed you too. Also missed Final Fantasy too. Yeah, um, almost most of the way through. We actually have a poll going on if you want to vote uh, for the next game. We have Final Fantasy VI, uh, which is um, going to be a raw uh, English translation from the Japanese. Um, and then we also have, uh, Doom 2016, and then we have, um, and then we also have Secret of Mana for the PS4. So, those are going to be the next ones. we got some good plans for, uh, the following, uh, the ones after that, too. Unfortunately, Exit doesn't work in here, so. I'm just going to do this, I mean, just for the essence of time. Thank you there, Ragna. Because this is, uh, it would just take us a while to walk all the way back here. Okay. What? Ragna, return to me, Ragna. 
Come back to me with the crystal. Bulbez. Ragna. Get a hold of yourself. I'm all right. I'm no longer under his control. Ugh. Boss of Dark Crystal. Wretch! Ragna, what are you doing? I've been waiting for this moment. Now the Tower of Babel can be reactivated. The way to the moon will open. Come, Ragna. Come on, Ragna. Wake up. All the crystals are gathered now. And the way to the moon will open. Obviously like the Final Fantasy VI, but absolutely don't mind whatever you guys choose. Thank you there, Shotrix. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the Final Fantasy VI Raw Translation one, too. Wait! Ha ha ha! Ragna! Oh my! Okay. Alright, down another character. Um... Well, you know what? It doesn't make sense to use the tent. Let's might as well go back to the uh, back to the castle right here, and then we'll save it. And the next time, what do you say? What what do you say, uh, there, Ragnar? Should we go through the uh, uh, cave of summon monsters next time? I think it's about that time, and then we can even go back and, go, and then we can go and get Odin after that too. And the uh, the rat tails. Um, I always say, because, you know, you can kind of mix it up a little bit on whichever one you, um, you want to do. Like, you could, we could have gone to the, I think the, uh, the Land of Summoned Monsters before this, too. Okay, alright, I like that plan. I just don't want to miss out on doing that too late, because, uh, Marley gets some great, um, great perks with, uh, with going there. I think we're good on healing items, though. I think we are good on healing items. I think we are. So next stream... We're going to be going and uh, going through the uh, Cave of Summon Monsters. And then, I think, you know what? Let's do the, uh, and then we can get Odin. But we could also go to the Sylph Cave, too. That one's always kind of a good one. So maybe we'll save those caves for this next time. Um, and that might actually be just a whole stream right there, depending. Um, and the Cave of Summon Monsters is... Uh, it's pretty interesting. You get some great stuff there, but then also, um, you know, it could be very challenging. I kind of wanted to go through the Seal Cave first. I mean, if we would have had Leviathan, we could have probably done a really great job on probably beating the, the, the Demon Wall uh, easier, I think. Um, but, um, okay. Let me shut that off. Here we go, we can play some uh, Star Fox there for uh, Choctress there. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, it has been awesome. We made some great progress. I feel great about today's stream. I feel great about today's stream. I mean, we made it all. We made it through the Tower of Babel, which took out up half of the stream anyway, and then also that sealed cave, which is always kind of a mess, and that demon, uh, demon wall. So let's... Um, Let's see who we want to go and support. Hmm. I know exactly. Perfect. Okay, guys. I got a raid target already picked out, guys. But uh, anyway, guys, I will let you know as soon as I find out on what 
if we'll be able to do another stream this week. I can't promise anything at this point in time. I have a couple days in mind, which I shared with you, which it could be Thursday, it could be Saturday, maybe like late morning, um, when Samuel's taking his nap Thursday and stuff might might be a day. Wednesday, I think it'd be cutting it a little bit too close because I have a meeting after work. So it could be one of those two days or it could be Sunday afternoon. Um, I'll let you guys know. I'll see if we could do maybe like one, maybe even two streams. I think three might be pushing it for all three of those days. But I'll kind of see what's going on. Because I do want to spend some time with the wife and Samuel since I'll be gone for almost a whole week too. So I'm thinking may, maybe maybe one or two streams we could sneak in. Two probably at the most. But I will let you guys know. I'll make an announcement on Discord and then also on Twitter. And then also keep an eye on the Twitch page as well too. And I'll have it kind of on the countdown and stuff for the schedule as well on the uh, on the Twitch page. So that'll that'll probably be the best bet for anybody that just isn't on Twitter or on Discord. That would probably be the best bet on watch. And remember, the times that we would normally stream during the evenings during the week is always going to be 5 to 8. It's not going to be later than 8 o'clock, and it's not going to be before 5. And that's all Pacific Standard Time. So you know for a fact that it's like, if I'm not live by 5 o'clock, you know there's, there's not going to be a stream that day. Um, and a Friday I know I won't be on uh, because we'll be going to that John Williams concert. So, but it could be Saturday. It could be Saturday and stuff late morning though too. So Thursday possibly, possibly Saturday um, late morning, and then or maybe a Sunday afternoon, and that'd probably be like maybe around one or two ish, probably closer to two ish if it happened on uh, on Sunday there. But then Monday I'm taking off. Remember, so next week there will be no streams at all, no stream on Monday or during that during that week. I mean. I'll have to see what's going on on that Friday. Maybe we could stream Friday when I get back. Um, I'll have to see kind of what's going on, and, but maybe maybe that weekend. But I will keep you guys posted as much as I can. So, but uh, guys, check out the merchandise store if you haven't. I mean, it doesn't cost anything and stuff to check out the the uh, the products and stuff on there. They are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. And the nice thing with that is, if you buy any of that stuff, it's going to go towards support. You, you get some cool stuff. That you get it that you get to take home and have but then also it's going to be um you're going to be supporting the stream and everything the content here too it goes right back into the channel guys all of that so we'll put it towards you know games or maybe even some like uh some giveaways and stuff too so it's all going to be going right back into the channel or maybe um for games for giveaways or maybe some steam games that we'll pick up and stuff for in the future as well too so um or some retro games so it should be super super awesome thank you there ragnar and stuff for putting that uh, that on there oh look at that there binary storm right at 500 hours right at 500 hours I and mean, he's like finally you're a gunner now you are a gunner i can finally go to bed <laughs> I tell you. you have a good night and stuff there, Binary Storm. Congrats there on uh, re meeting that target. Oh my gosh. And Ragna, have a great night as well, too. Guys, we are going to be raiding Fortifier. Fortifier is an awesome streamer. He was actually in here earlier. He just got back uh, today and is back to streaming. I think he hasn't streamed. He's been out of town uh, having to do with uh, work or whatnot. So I don't think he streamed in maybe three weeks or a month, maybe? I think it's been more than two weeks, uh, for sure. It, it seems like it's been forever and stuff, but it's great to have him back. So we're definitely going to go and support him and stuff tonight, guys. But thank you, everyone, and stuff for tuning in. Today was a blast. We made some great progress and stuff on um, on going through um, the um, uh, Final Fantasy II for Super Nintendo. My gosh, making it right through the Tower of Babel and the Seal Cave, beating that boss. And doing that all and stuff within a three-hour stream, which is amazing. So anyway, guys, have a great night and stuff. I hope to see you guys later on at the week or uh, the weekend and stuff, hopefully. But I will see you guys over at the Raid Target and then also um, back here and stuff, hopefully later on in the week. If not, 
then I will see you guys definitely when I get back, which will be that second week in uh, September, that, that, uh, that second Monday of September. I'll be back for sure, for sure on that day. But everyone, have a good one, and we will see you soon.